A safe, long-lasting deck needs proper footings and solid framing. Here's what you need to know. You'll need to mark the post layout first. For more details, check out the previous video in this series. Remember to follow local code for deck posts. There are several methods for setting posts. One way is to pour concrete in the post hole, set the post on the concrete, and backfill with gravel. To help prevent rotting, our wooden posts will be attached to concrete footers above ground. For either method, set the footers below the frost line to help prevent heave during a freeze. Temporarily remove the layout strings to get them out of the way. Dig the holes six inches lower than the required frost line depth for your area and slightly wider than the concrete footer tubes. A power auger can make this step easier and faster. Measure to make sure you dug to the right depth. Next, lay out landscape fabric and cut post hole openings. Later, we'll add gravel over the fabric to help with weeds and drainage. Then, pour six inches of all-purpose gravel into the hole and pack it tight with a post. Put a concrete form into the hole and mark it a few inches above ground. Pull out the form and cut it with a handsaw. Set the cut side down in the hole and make sure it's plumb and level. Now, mix concrete according to the directions and fill the tube halfway. Use a shovel or 2x4 to remove air pockets, then fill the rest of the way. Embed an anchor bolt into the concrete, make it plumb, and leave no more than an inch of thread showing. Also, backfill as you're working to keep the form in place. Follow the directions for cure time. After the concrete has cured, cut away the excess cardboard above ground. Then, finish covering the landscape fabric with gravel. Secure the post brackets with washers and nuts, then set the pressure plates on top. Now, place the posts on the brackets, making sure they're plumb, and secure with 10 penny nails or structural screws. If you're installing on an existing concrete pad, drill into the pad and install concrete anchors to secure the brackets. When the posts are in place, mark the tops by holding a chalk line on the height mark you made on the house. Extend it along the posts, level it, and snap the line. Use this line to mark the height on the rest of the posts with a level line, then cut them with a reciprocating or circular saw. Next step is to attach support beams made from two 2x10s. Start by determining the crown of the boards. The crown is the slight arch in the board and should always arc up. Clamp the boards together and drive nails about eight inches apart. Next, attach post caps with nails, then set the beam on the post caps, crown side up, and secure to the bracket. Make sure any joints are over a post. Apply waterproofing tape or silicone sealant along the top joint of the beams for a waterproof seal. Once the beams are in place, screw diagonal bracing to the posts to prevent racking. To cut the beams to the right length, start by setting a straight joist against the house at the edge of the deck. Square it up by marking six feet from the deck corner on the house and eight feet from the corner on the joist. Adjust the joist until the diagonal measures 10 feet. Mark and cut the beams. Next, build the floor frame. Start by marking the floor joist spacing on all the beams following your building codes, typically 16 inches on center. Then, place each rim joist on a beam and transfer the lines down the face of each joist, placing an X to the side of the lines indicating where the joists will be attached. Drill pilot holes through the rim joist into the end joist and secure it with deck screws. Next, attach reinforcing brackets with deck nails or screws. Don't attach the other rim joist yet. Position the frame on the beams, making sure it's square, and secure it with rafter ties. If your rim joists are two pieces, you can assemble the frame half at a time. We're adding bracing in the middle to support parting deck boards. Hold the floor joist along the 16-inch on center line, flush at the top, and drive in a screw. Hold a joist hanger against it, tap in the prong, tightly wrap it underneath and against the other side, and tap in the other prong. Now secure with joist hanger nails or structural screws. Install the rest of the joists too. When they're all up, strike a line and trim them to length. Finish the frame by attaching the other rim joist with hangers and nails. With the frame secure, the decking can go on next. 
we'll show you how to install traditional wood or composite boards. To learn about each step of deck installation, go to lowes.com slash build a deck.